People say, what do, you, what do you do? Well, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, but if you ask me, what is my hobby? You know, I, I enjoy taking care of boxers, and that's what I do. Dr. Jeff Kaplan, Dr. Victor Cabe, and Dr. The first time at ringside I have a fight, I'd been to other fights, but never really up close. You know, usually up in the cheap seats type of thing. And I was, I was hooked. I like his spunk. Let's see if he can punch. Just hearing the punches, being there, seeing the action. You know, there's two guys in the ring, you know, fairly evenly matched, and are just going to fight it out. There's a reason why I'm a big fan. People think I'm the guy that, like, you know, does the cuts. You know, I said, no, that's the cut man. And they don't understand what I really do. We're not part of the show. No one comes to see the doctor, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we try not to be part of the show. We try to not interfere and, and try to evaluate boxers in the least invasive way as possible so as not to disrupt the float of the boxers and for the show itself. Yo, combos off the jab, let's go! When I leave a hospital, let's say I've been doing surgery all day, right, and then I, I leave and I have to go be a ringside physician, it's a totally different role. Totally different role. And, and I do make a mental switch. Once that bell rings, that boxer turns into my patient, right? And I worry about that boxer the same way I would worry about any patient I'm performing surgery on. And I watch that boxer like a hawk. If I feel they're getting hurt or there's any risk of any type of permanent injury, you know, I will try to stop the fight or maybe try to convince the coroner, hey, you know, look how much punishment you're, you guys taking, how much more of this you want to watch. Okay, you have any headache, any dizziness? Because if you just stop the fight, you know, then there's a lot of controversy. But that's the worrisome, those few moments from when they're knocked out till they wake up and be able to interact with you where you can assess what's going on. You know, those are probably the moments that, you know, get to me the most. Although it's a violent sport, we have a lot of things in place to protect the boxers because we do know it's a violent sport. And, you know, we, we would like for them to have long, healthy careers and then be able to retire uh, injury-free. Is that possible, having, being knocked around and being beat up? It's tough. You know, I'm not a politician and I don't determine what society, you know, does, but I do know that the boxers need help. Is it nose okay? Is it? And oftentimes these boxers are hurt, so I think they appreciate having someone on their side, in their corner, looking after their best interests. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 